Welcome back to Red Panda Destiny. We are still covering Sabaton's The Great War. We are, of course, on the final song of the album, In Flanders Field. Um, probably the least sabaton -y song on the album. It's not even rock. It's, uh, it's actually just a solid choir song. Um, a poem by uh, John McRae. Um, which is actually a very famous poem, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but this will definitely bring most people to tears. Uh, certainly did after listening to it four times, like I had to. Um, there's actually a lot of memes about it. It's like, yeah, great war. And then you get to the end, you go, oh, God. Uh, I think it was an excellent way to end the album. Um, as Parr says in the uh, Sabaton history, it, it's uh, they wanted something to calm the album down um, after the war to end, the, the war to end or wars, whatever. I forget the name of the song. Um, I find that kind of ironic because it's, it's not really calming. It's just a different emotion. But anyway, uh, let's play a little sample here. In So you can tell it's very mournful, very uh, memorative, um, definitely a good way to end an album about one of the deadliest wars of all time. Um, but we have three positives here. Um, Tufulness, the choir, who do an excellent job, I think you can agree. And just Sabaton for deciding to include um, a very atypical song for them on this album. Um, the history version of this song is no different than the normal version. And the soundtrack, um, I don't have any additional positives for. It, it, it has the, most of the same emotion there. Um, obviously less choir, so no extras for that. Um, and then there was the lyric video. Uh, two lyric videos, actually. Um, I'll give them a positive for using a lot of flowers. Um, Poppies, I think poppies are referenced in the song, so they did that. I'm not sure why they did two lyric videos, though, because they seem to be very similar. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. I'll give them a positive for having two, just because. Uh, but that brings us, of course, on to the Sabaton History episode, uh, which actually turns into um, history of various poets of World War I. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, he also covers the... Um, the final day of the war, um, where fighting continued even though they knew they were going to stop um, at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Um, so that's pretty depressing. The dying at the end of the war, almost past the end of the war, essentially. It's um, but the other interesting thing about the song, though, is it was also the, um, the genesis of poppy wearing in the UK, which is um, pretty standard for anything of remembrance. Um, everybody wears a little poppy. Um, so that's pretty influential of John McRae. I think this is probably one of the most popular poems of World War I, um, though there are many written by many soldiers. So you get a lot to choose from there. Um, but uh, this one definitely was a good pick. Um, so in about an hour, I'm going to post another video, uh, just a wrap-up video. Um, we'll do the final scores of the album and um, add a few additions. So uh, look forward to that.